And earlier you mentioned about that you are very decisive as a leader. And then now you mentioned about transparency. Can you share how your decision making process looks like? Like how do you allow or listen to everybody and be transparent and while being still being decisive when required to? Yep. So I think the, the first piece is being part of the customer experience and listening to your customers as frequently and as often as possible. And so I still talk to prospective customers as well as past customers. I would speak to minimum 15 customers a month, sometimes more than that. And as a function of that, you learn what their pain points are, what they like and don't like. And that's the first thing. As a function of that, you, you should develop a really strong gut feel for what is the right decision to make based on how many conversations you've had and all of the anecdotal evidence you have at your disposal to justify what you want to do next or what you think is the right thing to do next. And then of course, data. So at the end of the day, we know what buyers want because we have the data that shows us where they gravitate to. We know what sellers want because the number of discussions that happen on our platform give us a lot of insight into how they think about the next steps they might take through a negotiation with a prospective buyer. And on many occasions, it will reveal a feature set. For instance, we noticed that a lot of our customers were asking buyers to provide them with a LOI or a letter of intent. And so when you see that become a very common request and the data shows you that building that will enable the customers to go through a more fluent and less frictionful and more frictionless process, we then built a letter of intent builder. So at the end of the day, it's listen to your customers, develop a strong gut feel and use data to make informed decisions. And once you have a sense for the right decision, procrastination hurts speed. And so there's no benefit in that. So then you move into execution and you break down features and or opportunities into small bite-sized pieces such that you can understand whether you're on the right pathway. And once you figure out you're on the right pathway, that's the point at which you can invest big. But before then, you make quick decisions, you execute quickly and you just learn from the data. 